So I'm actually doing this really quickly at like 2 a.m. Right? It's been a long time since I've done one of these 2 a.m. videos. related video from a fast fashion site that actually some of you guys had told me about called newchic.com and they actually recently reached out to me and I thought it'd be cool to do a lingerie haul because with these fast fashion sites a lot of the time the quality of the lingerie isn't the best and it seemed on this site they they priced them like mid-range so it's like a little bit more expensive than some of the other sites so I really wanted to see the quality of some of these items and share them openly with you guys and give you guys my opinion. Now for the shipping, they, they did express shipping on these items and honestly they came to me in like a week. So let's get this haul going. I'm going to try on a few of these items but not all of them. Thank you very much newsheet.com for letting me pick up some items off your site. And making this video possible. This video is not a paid sponsor, by the way. I just agreed to collaborating with them by picking up some items off their site and showing you guys. All these items you'll be able to find in the description down below. This item, I'm wearing a different pair of underwear underneath. I don't know how I feel about this. The bottom part, it has like this kind of lace going on. The fabric on this, not a very well made silk. I would definitely say it's very cheap. I don't really get this. It's like really badly, uh, almost like burnt to shape like that. But this, this satin fabric is really, really cheap. Honestly, it looks better on camera from what I see. In reality, this looks really cheap though, honestly. It comes with this thong. And I don't really like these thongs personally. A lot of lingerie come with them. And they base the ass basically moves around a lot. That's why I don't like these. Just because the ass part moves around. But yeah, it's just a really not there kind of underwear that this comes with. But this is the first uh, lingerie set. So the bottoms are see-through, so I'm not going to show the whole thing, but oh my god, I'm obsessed with this bra set. It's so cute. I would honestly get the other colors. I want to see how well this holds up though, but for the price, it's hella wonderful. It gives me this great push-up going on here that I don't usually have, but see like these, I know these are Asian size bras because they, this fits me perfectly, so this is good to know. So anybody who has like... A small upper bone structure. This bra might be for you too, but it's hella cute. What do you guys think? It's a little bit tight right here, but I have to, I have to tone. This is an awesome. This, the fabric doesn't feel too cheap, but the lace part does. This is my first impression of these items, so the tag is still on some. But this is a bra set. I don't usually wear this style of bottom, so I probably won't wear these very often. I'm more of a thong person, but this top is an interesting cut, like how it goes down like this. I thought this was going to be uncomfy at first. It might be uncomfy for some people's shapes if you don't have like a small frame. This is really cute. I love this. And then it's like caged in the back. It's also got massive push-up in it to give you like push up so I've got boobs going on now. Had this really cute halter sparkly mesh top and it like crisscross ties in the back. I thought it would look really cute with this top and it looks perfect with this. I would wear this together. Maybe not with this color though but some of you guys are probably so tired of the mesh trend but like no this is lingerie. And I'm goth slash alternative, so my shit don't go out of stuff. This is so cute. I'm so happy with this. This sparkly mesh top also comes with one of those goofy ass uh, unbalanced back thongs that I don't really like. 
and but this one's sparkly and it matches. Underwear that don't really leave much room to the imagination, so I'm just gonna show you guys because these are super cute. But the sizing may be kind of weird because these ones they have sizings, but the other one has is one size fits all. So you guys probably know the gist with the one size fits all stuff. Basically fits small people. Uh, Kate is a cage booty set of underwears. And the lace on it, it doesn't smell like a cheap lace, so I'm gonna have to like come back and let you guys know how good this lace held up. Because I find with a lot of the cheap laces, they start to get like strings hanging from them, and that's like the last thing you want from your favorite pair of panties. So I'm gonna have to follow up on that for you guys. And some of you guys might have seen these ones online before but these ones have a pussy on the pussy these are one size fits all honestly these look a bit large but i got the black ones and once again with the cheap possibly cheap lace i'll let you guys know if this holds together <laughs> this is one of those famous stick on cleavage push-up bras that i we're all over my Instagram for a really long time, and they had one of these, so I thought I'd try it out. So let's like pull this together. Now this is tight as it goes, and it's uh, lifting off me. <laughs> and I expected that, because I saw the reviews, and... Yeah, this is uh, apparently all the cleavage it's going to give me in this... This is quite poopy compared to uh, some of the bras I tried on. So, uh, what rating would I, <laughs> would I give this? Um, considering it squishes my boobs in and gives me no side shape and doesn't really do anything in the first place, I'd give it no zero cleavage out of 10. And it peels off. But for a strapless bra, that, without doing this up really tight, I honestly think it's a really good strapless bra. Separated from the, the push-up part. I was going to put this inside of a push-up bra to see what it's like, so I'm just going to do that. Well, I mean, like, there's no real purpose of wearing it in this. You can just tell I'm wearing two bras. I mean, it stays on better, for sure. I would definitely say it gives me more cleavage this way, but it's like painful, I can barely breathe now. Push-up is a no-go, but for a strapless bra, yay. I also tried on the pussy underwear, and the back part is really small, so people who have big bums, for one size fits all, this is not going to fit your bum. He said it's super super cute and it feels so soft. Like this is my favorite, one of my favorite things so far. Like, oh, this one makes up for the other one that it was poopy, the white one. This is like a light pink. Now this part isn't fitted, but it's like one of these like over, over kind of top things. And then it's got like a, a nighty that hangs on. And it's like padded. But it's just like a little, little nightgown. It's so cute. This is the last set. It's a, it's a, like a nurse costume. Bra is really big on me. I got this in a medium. And because it's elastic y dirt thong part thing, it goes up real high in the back. <laughs> really, really high. Kind of uncomfortable. Very thick, wedgy. Uh, the socks, these are really cute. These are actually sold separately. I like how high these go, go all the way up to the thighs, but I thought this was really cute, and it is, minus how this bra fits, 
really poorly fits. Doesn't really have a push up either. So it's like, eh. Doesn't really stay up for me either. This is pretty good. I got two items I didn't like too much, which is the top in this and how high this goes up. And the white lace thing and the poopy thongs that I don't like. But I like the other things that the poopy thongs came with, so it compensates. <laughs> Comment in the comment section below and tell me your favorite item that I got in this haul. Let me know if you'd wear any of these items or get any of these items for your girlfriend. Do subscribe if you haven't subscribed already and join my awesome crew of Killer Ads Cookies. Stay awesome as all hell as cookies should be. And I love the living hell out of you.